So can you litter box train a ferret? Yes. No. Maybe? Kinda. It definitely is going to depend on the ferret. So if you plan on getting a ferret, I would not go into it with the plan that they're going to be 100% litter trained. Because what you don't want is to get a ferret and then you're unable to actually litter box train them and then you want to get rid of them. So I would go into it planning on there being lots of accidents. So we're going to talk all about litter training ferrets and make sure to watch all the way through to the end so you get all of our tips on how we were successful in having our boys completely litter box trained. Now over the last six years we've had a total of five different ferrets and we have been quite lucky in that all of our boys have been really good at being litter box trained. All of our boys have been Marshall's ferrets but we have got them in different ways. We gotten a few from big named pet stores. We've gotten one from like a small boutique pet store. We got one off Craigslist, so kind of being rehomed. And we got one also being rehomed that we just got from free from a family that didn't want them anymore. Some of them were real young when we got them. Some of them were already a couple years old because again, they'd already lived with previous families. Hagrid here, who is from a small boutique pet shop, was actually already about six to seven months old and had been in the pet store for quite a while before we got him. So we haven't been necessarily successful with litter box training because we've gotten all of our ferrets as babies or kits. It's just honestly, we just had some really awesome boys, which Hagrid would agree on. First, you want to make sure you have an appropriate litter box. You don't want one of the litter boxes that are actually marketed towards ferrets or one of those dinky little corner units. You want to make sure that the ferret can actually get inside. So this was a drawer from a plastic storage unit that I cut the side down. This is just a storage bin from Walmart, which actually worked fine before I cut it, but I did cut the side off to make it a little easier. And then you have just like these normal small cat litter boxes, which work just fine as well. Rule of thumb is they should be able to get their body fully inside and move around to be able to do their business comfortably. Our next tip is to cover all shelves and platforms with cloth. Fleece is very popular, but you can just use cotton like old sheets or pillowcases. I would also recommend blocking all corners since ferrets really prefer to potty in corners. So you can see in our old cage setups where we had toys, ball pits, beds, or whatever we could find crammed into every corner of the cage. Obviously what you use is going to depend on whether or not your ferrets are known to be chewers or not. Our boys never liked going to the bathroom on beds or toys, so this really helped block those areas from being used as potties. Then when it comes to litter, try different kinds of litters. I know a lot of people have success with puppy pads. We tried puppy pads and all of our boys would just tear them up and dig at them and completely destroy them. So they didn't work for us, but they may work well for you. There's also different type of paper type of like pellets and products you can use for litter. But what you don't want to use is like normal cat clumping litter. It's not normally recommended for ferrets. What we found worked best for our boys are the Equian pine pellets that we can get at our normal like farm store. Our next suggestion is to make sure that your litter boxes are convenient. So whether it's in a cage or if they're free roaming, a ferret's not going to want to go a bazillion feet to get to a litter box. So if you again look at our old cages, you can see our litter boxes are a little more spaced out in a way that they're not running forever to try to get to the litter box. A mistake we made is when we first got our triple ferret nation is we had one litter box at the very bottom. You can kind of see my pointer at the top, but if a ferret was at the top, they'd have to go all the way down the ramp, go around, go down the hole, and again, go down that shelf. Again, it's hard to see the little pointer. Go around, go down that shelf, and then go all the way down to the bottom to get to that litter box. They had a lot of accidents in this cage, and it was quite frankly our fault. They needed bigger and more litter boxes. The next suggestion is to clean the litter box often. No one wants to stand in their own poop or pee, same for your ferrets. How often you scoop will really depend on how many ferrets you have and how many litter boxes you have for them. But I would normally go in with a shovel and clean out all the poop, poop covered pellets, as well as the dust made by them peeing on the pellets and throw that all away. Now it's also important to note that you should be dumping and starting over with fresh pellets at least once a week, as well as cleaning out the litter boxes with like a vinegar water solution. So I really hope our tips can help you litter train your ferrets. <laughs> Thanks for watching.